Hi, this is Auto House Hamilton TV, and I'm James, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. The classic 911 used a single belt to turn the cooling fan and power the alternator. If anything happens to the belt, the charge light comes on, and it's a good idea to switch the car off as soon as possible, because cooling air is no longer being blown over the engine. With the 964 and 993, it's all a bit more complicated than that. Details coming up after this. Air-cooled motorcycles have it easy. Their engines hang out in the cooling breeze. The harder the engine works, the hotter it gets. But the faster the bike goes, and the more cool air flows over the engine. Air-cooled 911s rely on increasing revs turning the cooling fan faster to push more air over the engine. The tinware and rubber seals ensure that the air goes where it needs to go. In a classic 911, the cooling fan and alternator are driven by one belt. Fan speed and alternator speed are the same and directly related to engine speed. If the alternator stops charging, you need to make sure that it's not because the fan belt has gone AWOL. From 964 onwards, things get a bit more complex, with separate belts to turn the alternator and cooling fan. The fan and alternator turn at different speeds in order to optimize charging and cooling. Pre-964, if the alternator charge light comes on, you need to stop right away, because there's a good chance that the reason for lack of charging is lack of turning of the alternator and fan. Of course, if the lack of charging is because of a problem with the alternator, there is no harm in driving with the car's electrics being powered by the battery while it lasts. With separate belts driving the alternator and the fan, it is possible for the belts to fail independently of one another. And if that happens, it would be nice to know about it. The alternator light now becomes a signal of health and happiness in the charging circuit only. 964 and 993 models use a belt tension sensor to monitor the belt that drives the fan. As long as the tension sensor senses tension, there's no need for you to get tense. The tension sensor lives on the left side of the engine, more or less in front of where your left knee would be if you were to be standing behind the car wondering where on earth the belt tension sensor could be. And this is what the sensor looks like. A sprung wheel runs against the fan belt and the belt pushes the wheel back. While the belt pushes the sensor's wheel in, a circuit is closed. If the belt disappears, the circuit opens and that change tells your car that all is not well with the world. We can test the tension sensor using a continuity test. This multimeter is set up to do a continuity test. So where there is continuity, we'll hear a beep. Now, if we hook it up, to, if we hook the multimeter up to the belt tension sensor, and remember it's in the open mode as it would be if there was no belt, all is quiet because uh, that circuit is now open. But as it normally is with the belt pushing the wheel back, the sensor closes and you hear the beep. So there it is, an important part of monitoring the engine of a 964 or 993. And if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching.